So today I want to tell you about a pretty nice uh, success story that I had with GitHub Copilot. Um, I merged some code the other day and after a while I got an email from the continuous integration saying that one of the tests uh, had failed. When I looked into that test failure, I realized that the test that was failing was completely unrelated to the change that I had made. So this seemed to indicate that this test was uh, flaky. So I just uh, figured, hey, since GitHub Copilot should have access to the logs in this continuous integration run and the code itself, maybe I just uh, put the link to the failed action here. And I just simply said, hey, investigate this uh, possibly flaky test. And I just went, uh, went on to do whatever I was doing that day. I come back and to my very positive surprise, um, GitHub Copilot had identified the root cause of, of the flakiness and had proposed a, a fix. Uh, so I told it to run the flaky test 100 times. It, it did three validation scenarios and then run each 100 times, getting a 100% success rate. That was very promising, just to be super sure. I then told GitHub Copilot to run the flaky test without the fix to get the success rate before the fix. So it did the same thing. It ran the test 100 times and it got a success rate of 23%. Uh, so as you know, this, this is very bad for developer happiness. You know, when you're trying to merge your code and have to retry and retry and retry, I take a look at the fix. And indeed, it was uh, had to do with the how to how to how to handle the fake timers and the real timers in in the uh, unit test framework that we use, which is kind of not trivial to to fix. So I was very pleased that a Copilot, without any back and forth, was able to fix my problem, and we never heard about this flaky test since.